you are welcome to another segment of market structure. In this segment, we are looking at the relationship between total revenue and price elasticity of demand. In our previous class, we were able to establish that total revenue is price multiplied quantity. And the equation for price was given as alpha minus beta q. As such, our total revenue using this formula is alpha minus beta q, which is our price, multiply quantity. Then total revenue is alpha quantity minus beta quantity squared. This equation is a typical model of quadratic equation. As such, we can express our total revenue as minus bq squared plus alpha q. This is a typical equation for a quadratic equation. In terms of numeric expression, from the last video, we obtain minus beta as minus 0 0.91 y alpha as 10. As such, we can express our total revenue function as minus 0 0.91 q squared plus 10 q. We can actually make use of the hypothetical figures from our last video to obtain the shape of the total revenue curve. In the last video, the hypothetical figures are given as Q, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. As revealed by the total revenue equation, which is TR equals minus 0 0.91Q squared plus 10Q. When output is 1, total revenue is minus 0 0.91 into 1 square plus 10 into 1. When output is 2, total revenue is minus 0 0.91 2 squared plus 10 into 2. At 3, total revenue is minus 0 0.91 3 squared plus 10 into 3. 4. Total revenue minus 0 0.91 4 squared plus 10 into 4. For each of the value, when Q is 1, total revenue is 9.09. .09. When Q is 2, total revenue is 16.36. When Q is 3, total revenue is 21.81. When Q is 4, total revenue is 25.44. When Q is 5, total revenue is 27.25. Therefore, we can summarize the relationship between quantity and total revenue as follows. Total revenue at 1, 9.09. 2, 16.36. 3. 21.81 4 25.44 The graphical illustration between total revenue and quantity is expressed as follows This is our quantity axis. This is total revenue axis. 
and the origin. When quantity is 1, total revenue is 9.09. .09. When quantity is 2, total revenue is 16.36. When output is 3, total revenue is 21.81. When output is 4, total revenue is 25.44. When output is 5, total revenue is 27.25. When output is 6, total revenue drops to 27.24. When output is 7, the drop in total revenue is sustained. So we have another drop to 25.41. When output is 8, the total revenue is 21.76, which is another drop in total revenue. As such, based on the equation, total revenue equals minus 0.91Q squared plus 10Q. Our total revenue is N shape. As we can see, the quadratic equation gave n shape total revenue. Therefore, we can present our total revenue as total revenue, which is price multiplied quantity, with price equation of alpha minus beta q, where alpha is 10 and beta 0.91 q and total revenue is price multiplied quantity which is 10 minus 0.91q multiply q therefore total revenue is 10q minus 0.91q squared which can be written as total revenue equals minus 0.91q squared plus 10q Based on the quadratic equation, our total revenue curve is N shape. Having obtained the total revenue curve, we want to examine the price elasticity of demand. 